Vivek. Uh, welcome to ATRC. Thank you for sparing your time. So, we are happy to receive you here. And first, I would like to know from you the role of rubber in the commercial vehicle. How it is going to help the users to get maximum benefits. I think rubber pl uh, plays a very important role. We have just seen the change from BS3 to BS4. And as you know, we sell our trucks based on profit and technology. And one important role is also, let's say, regarding tires. 18% of the material cost of a truck are accumulated to the tires and to the rubber parts. What we should also consider is the fuel efficiency, the mileage, and the lifetime of, of a tire. And also, last but not least, the brake performance. And as you know, in a traditional ways, in India, more or less, Indian truck drivers use, as of now, our fleets use crossplay tires, where modern trucks are using tubeless tires which deliver much better fuel efficiency and if you just make one comparison if one tire brings you three percent better fuel efficiency just think about a fleet of one million customers which drives 100 kilometer per day this would accumulate of 8.3 lakhs on fuel efficiency per day so we could save 8.3 lakhs fuel per day we have 360 days per year you can envision how big this advantage would be okay, and it's not okay. in liters yeah. and this is not only sent for the fleet owners this is also for the okay. government because for the country country has to import fuel so people, yeah. fuel efficiency comes from tires not only from the engine not only from the drivetrain but also from the tires and it gets overlooked okay that's fantastic so how do you see uh, the suppliers in india you know finding out uh, and what is your message for them to you know go global I'll hold it. Ah, okay. I wish that the Indian tire makers would become more global minded. As of now, as I just pointed out before, we are seeing more and more traditional tires in India, all really meant for overloading, versus in a global trend, overloading gets banned. But also in India, overloading gets banned. You see, state by state, we see a trend to a rated load business in the future. And I see one thing an export business, I see different tires than I see in the domestic market. So I would assume that the Indian customer deserves the same tire quality as an export customer. Why do we have to differentiate from domestic customer as from export uh, customer? And tire prices in India more on the higher side than anywhere else in the world. So if you consider this, if you make a fair comparison of tire prices worldwide, India is still on the higher end. And I think we should think about it, we should consider it. Why is that so? Despite we have natural rubber in India, in Europe I don't have rubber, I have to import rubber and I have a cheaper tire price. So I think there's a way of improvement. Interesting point. And rubber is not confined to only tires. There are many things, applications in the CV industry to reduce noise, vibration and harshness. Where do you see this uh, progress? Honestly, I would expect more progress here from the Indian uh, suppliers. I have last two years I have exported roughly 40 million parts and components from India. Actually, if there was a handful of rubber parts in between, that would be everything. I have exported a lot of technology parts, a lot of different metal parts, but rubber is not competitive as of now. And I think this is based maybe on a price protectionism, that it's more interesting for Indian OEMs, uh, time uh, suppliers to produce for Indian OEMs than for export. But technologically, uh, rubber uh, part manufacturers are strong in India? They are strong. So this is exactly the point. So you can get all kind of parts. The question is, do you get these parts on a competitive level? It's not the technology which is lacking here. It's a willingness to change. Now let me ask you about you know, Daimler India commercial vehicles. Uh, what are the key attributes that make it a uh, very unique in the Indian market? Profit and technology, as I pointed out before, so it's for sure the safest truck in the Indian market, it's the most fuel efficient truck in the Indian market, most convenient truck, and we have the highest uptime. And now with the GST implementation, that is what really counts, highest uptime. A driver can run in our truck or drive more kilometers per day in our trucks than in any competitor truck. And this makes a huge difference for them. This makes a difference for the driver, which feels more refreshed. It reduces the number of accidents, but also it's good for the fleet owners because more kilometers means a better earning. 
and per se we do not have the driver shortage than other experience in the car business. Lastly, I would like to uh, know, get your views about this conference, Asian Tire and Rubber Conference. I'm quite excited to be here today in this conference because we have an international group here. And I think it's quite interesting now to discuss here once more the competitiveness of the tire and rubber business in Asia, in India. As you know, we export to 14 different countries in the mineral. So we are really keen to explore any kind of opportunities what can be done from India for India, but not only for India, but for the world. Therefore, I think it's a quite good setup. Thank you, Eric. Thank you once again for sparing your time. And